Well after two days of heavy wind and rain you can see all the weeds have shot up at the front of my greenhouse here so I'll have to hack those down but on the plus side I planted some more runner beans and these ones have actually germinated and I've got two, four, six plants there which will be plenty for me but I'm not going to put them in the ground just yet because all the ones that I have put in the ground have been decimated by slugs or snails or both um, the peas have stood up pretty well and the corn but I'm afraid the runner beans have been a complete failure there however my blue lake climbing beans really the French ones although they've got a little bit of slug damage the plants are still there so there's still a possibility that they will actually grow and produce some sort of fruit but the state of that runner bean down there that was a scarlet emperor uh, it's barely a scarlet prince now peace doing well I mean I'm, I'm going to need to hook them up again because they've all fallen over the wind's kind of knocked them for six but look at these spuds out some potatoes at home last week and I had a few nice sized salad potatoes out of it I would say I had three servings so it wasn't too bad obviously they're not mature yet but they tasted fabulous uh, so that's a good sign the plants in the pond took a bit of a hiding the irises have been shifted out of their location they're just floating at the moment I'm going to leave them because we've got more wind coming so I'll leave that for now unfortunately here the tomatoes took a bit of a beating this one's got a snapped stem and it looks like it's going to die at the top uh, the others seem to have survived and the marigolds down the middle have also survived i don't know if you can see that the wind's still chucking everything about uh, one of my sunflowers well i'm afraid that's a goner but the other three have survived the lettuces I put in have also survived, so they're doing okay. And over here, we've got the uh, spring onions and what do you call those? The beetroot. They're doing well. Now today, I've added some more crops. I put in some more lettuce. These are cos, and I've also put in some uh, what do you call those things? Broccoli, purple sprouting broccoli so they're down there looking a bit weak and withered at the moment so i've interspaced some lettuce with them because they'll grow a lot quicker and the lettuce are doing quite well considering i had none at all that germinated in my greenhouse i did these on my windowsill at home and they've come up quite well no sign of any potatoes up here yet although to be honest i hadn't expected any yet uh, Having said that, I think I can just see the top of one coming through, so it won't be too long now. The rhubarb shot up again, so that's good news. I'll get some off there. And the gooseberries, well, I don't know when they're going to come because I haven't seen any flowers on this lot yet. Uh, it never got trimmed this year. It should have been hacked back a bit, but at the moment, there's no sign of any flowers or fruit so I just have to wait and see what happens you know, I'm not even sure when they're supposed to fruit so it could be now, it could be in three months I really don't know blackberries popping up everywhere uh, they run under the ground here all the way from my shed down to the far end of the plot there's more of them around here and right through the rhubarb but yeah some good solid stalks in there it's going to be fun taking the stalks off here because there's blackberries all the way through it now so I'm going to get my hand ripped to shreds uh, more big stalks down there as well I don't really want blackberries running through my rhubarb so at the end of the season I'm going to be taking them out of there and relocating the rhubarb up here we passed it earlier but I didn't mention it this is where my strawberries are at 
get the weeds out, they still come in in time. Lots of little strawberries coming inside. I don't know what that's doing in there, we'll take that out. Um, lots of strawberries, still lots of flowers. And it won't be long before that lot starts ripening up. Let's just hope I get to them before the birds or the slugs do. Last year the slugs had more than I did. There is one there that's going slightly pink. And this is on the ones that I didn't think would do anything, but as you can see, little bunches of fruit on them now. So you never know, I might get a little bit of a crop off there. Well, the wind lashed my mint. It was just recovering from transplanting and now the wind stripped the bark. There is still some there, there's still growth, it's still shining, so you never know. And in my... Marley, stop eating the grass, boy. Hey, stop eating the grass. That's a good boy. In my chives... Oh, looks like they're all going to seed now. So all this lot growing around the outside isn't helping. Right, so we've rescued a couple more tomato plants. They're looking a bit with them, but they'll pick up. There's no problem with those. I mean, they'll be like that in a week or so. So the other one snapped in the middle. Just the compost. This one here, sunflower. I'll bring another one from home. Over here today, I think I've done quite well getting some lettuce and some broccoli in. Um, I'm going to go up and do the, the raised bed in a minute. I'm going to pick a couple of uh, beetroot from there to take home for my dinner. I'll be having uh, some boiled new potatoes and a bit of salad and some cucumbers. And what I hadn't noticed earlier on when I was looking on here, they're coming to flower. These are my uh, charlottes. So they're actually coming to flower now. Excuse me. So I'll be definitely picking a, a bucket of those this week. Flowers everywhere. So they're definitely coming home. I've just given them a good spraying with Epsom salt uh, all over the leaves. So that should uh, keep them healthy. I've done the same with the tomatoes in the greenhouse. So there's plenty of trusses on those now. I mean, they're about nearly three foot tall. I'm going to pinch them out at four foot because well, I'm little, I can't reach high. So that's that. Right, I'm just going to go and tidy up here and then Marley and I are going to go up to the raised bed and gather myself a couple of beetroot to take home and we'll see how they look. These, I'll leave these till next time. Uh, We've still got a bit of wind. I'm not going to put those other beans out yet. But when I do, I want them to be about two foot tall so that the slugs don't have them. Uh, they didn't seem to be so keen on the Blue Lake for some reason. There are holes in the leaves, but nothing like the way they've decimated the Scarlet Emperors. There aren't any left. I mean, they're literally eating the lot. Uh, yeah, they, they're finished. There's nothing going to grow on those. Same over there. Even the peas on that side, for some reason, they've had them there. They're the same variety as these. This is the sugar snap. And they're doing okay on this side. But uh, for some reason, everything on that side seems to be getting eaten alive. Uh, I just have to keep persevering, hoping something can come of it. I mean, this one's winding itself around the pole quite nicely now, so not much need to, to keep tying it up. Marley, what's the matter, babe? What's the matter? Hey? He's having a little windy at me over there. He complained when he was out here because he was too hot. So I put him over there and he's complaining because he can't see me. I don't know. Oh, just as a point, my lavender's finally bitten. And um, we've got little flowers coming off them. So, that's good news. So they're gonna go around this side of the pond once I've got this bit cleared up. And this bit of lavender here is nicely rooted. 
and there. So I have little purple flowers on them soon. I did see one tiny little, well, froglet, I suppose. It's still got a tail. Um, it was sort of hovering around that end by the fountain. Uh, as you can see, it's not particularly bright today, so the fountain is just spitting. It's not actually sending out a constant stream. Uh, it's still a bit windy, still a bit cool. But everything in the garden's coming along nicely. Right, catch up with you when I get to my raised bed. Bye for now. Well, this is my raised bed. I do come here every week when I'm here just to water and weed. As you can see, things are going on quite well here. Shallots, red onions, brown onions, beetroot, and some brassicas here, which I really can't remember what they are now. I'm not sure if they're Brussels sprouts or possibly uh, broccoli. So I'll have to wait a little bit longer and see what comes out of them. If anybody can identify them from these video shots, please tell me because I'd be grateful to know. Uh, today I'm going to pull a couple of beetroot to take home for my evening salad and I might just pull one of these shallots out and chop them up as spring onion because there's plenty of them here in fact I'm looking now and I'm thinking to myself let's have this one there we go that's the one that's going home with me today so chop that up and have some summer spring onion and I think I've got a couple of beetroot there, although they do look a little bit on the small side today. Maybe there's one. No, I think I'll leave them in another week or so because they're, they're quite tiny really. They're not particularly... Um, I mean, I like baby beets, but they're a bit too baby. No, we we'll definitely leave them in another week or so. Same with that one over there. Uh, yeah, that's the solution to that, so we won't touch those today. But um, plenty of onions and shallots coming along, and they're doing quite well. They don't seem to suffer too much up this end of the plot with nasty insects and things. So I'm surprised the butterflies haven't had a feast in here though. But as long as you keep on top of the weeds here, there's not a lot to do. Uh, the soil's not particularly good, but I have churned quite a bit of uh, manure into this over the last two years, or well, last year and this year. So this soil is getting better, but it's still very gritty. So I'm thinking before next season, I'm going to dig it out, sieve it, and add some good compost to it. Some people have just let theirs go here. It's a shame really, because these are good little beds. And I know the chap here has just started sorting his out. And John has been down on a regular basis and sorted his out, so he's going well. This chap here seems to be on top of his. And that's uh, Kevin, Kevin Seal. So he's got his beans in there. His beans have been surviving the slugs. Maybe I should put my beans up here. What are you doing, Marley? Trying to drag me into a different part of the plot here. Right, so I'm going to take my little doggy and my shallots there and head for home. Catch you next time. Bye.